Welcome back to Clay Studios, and today we are reviewing this floor lamp sent to us by YSJ. Thank you to our friends and partners at YSJ for sending us this lamp. Really excited about this one. Uh, this is definitely something unique. Uh, it actually works with uh, uh, Alexa, or if you have the Google Home app. Uh, this is actually voice controlled through those apps, like uh, smart lights. So let's get this open up and see what it looks like. All right, so it looks like this is the base. It's actually got some pretty good weight to it. This is 50 inches tall, by the way. Multicolor, and here's the remote control. Got some instructions and the light bar itself. Everything is pretty lightweight, except for the base. The base is actually kind of heavy and sturdy, which is good, so the cat can't knock it over. All right, let's get this assembled real quick and see what it looks like. So to connect the three pieces together, see the little black piece that comes down and just inserts right into there. And there's going to be that little prong right there that plugs into that side. So you just kind of find a little opening right there. And they connect together just like that. Now on the back here, there's these little uh, screws that comes up like a little screws with an Allen wrench. So we're going to go ahead and tighten those up once we get them all hooked up. So we'll do one more side right over here. Like that connected. Now we'll bring the base in and connect it straight to the base, and you just rotate it right onto the base like this. There we go. And that's basically how it looks. As you can see, quite tall, 50 inches, like I said. Uh, and so this is the light side right here where the light comes out, and this would be the side that would face. Uh, your living room like this for example and the light would shine that way against the wall or something like that so anyways let's get these screws in real quick so you just put one screw on the end of the allen wrench like that and you just place it right into the little designated hole and you just spin right in so it's basically how you get it in there just like that now, we, now that we've got the screws into the lamp and the base all secured, let's go ahead and plug in the let's go ahead and plug in the uh, the socket here, just like that. This little protective piece comes down here and screws on. All right, let's plug it in and see what it looks like. All right, so I got the unit plugged in, and right away it started flashing red like this. Uh, so you can kind of see now, 50 inches, it's quite tall. Uh, again, this is the, the light facing this way. You want to make sure it's facing towards the wall. That way it's not shining against you and blinding you, but shining up against uh, a backdrop. So let's go ahead and push the on button on this and see what happens. All right, so it turned on. And of course we have dimming and brightness. And you have different colors, red, green. And I like how when it changes colors, it doesn't do automatic, like quickly, like glides and fades into those colors. That's pretty cool. If you download the app, uh, you can set it up through, like I said, uh, Amazon, uh, through your Alexa. You can control it through your Google apps. Uh, you could also set it to uh, be sound sensitive, which is probably why it was flashing on the auto. If you go to the sound settings, you actually set it up to where it will um pulse with the beat of music or uh, if you're watching a movie it can pulse with the sounds from the movie again you just have to download the app xm cozy app uh, and go onto your google or amazon device to get that set up so i found a spot for here in my bedroom right next to my tv so i'm gonna turn off the light and i will turn on the lamp Now I relax in my bed. I think I have the lamp right over there. Just like that. Let's change the different settings. So the auto, uh, we'll do that again. <clears throat> so auto will take you through different settings. You just push the button and it'll take you through different looks like a fire. It's pretty cool. Just different different ambient settings that I'll do when you push auto. Kind of looks like fire in a way, right? That's pretty cool. So definitely not something I would use 
as my ambient lighting here in my bedroom, but like for Halloween, for example, you know, I definitely use this in the front yard when I set up all my Halloween costumes, uh, decorations, or if I do um, something for Christmas, you know, I can definitely use this as some sort of ambient lighting behind a Christmas tree. Uh, but I would say in the meantime, I could just use this as just a light here in my room like that. That way I don't have to turn on, you know, the big bright lights. This is more energy efficient and uh, I can control it from right over here on my side of the bed. So that's it guys. Um, like I said, highly recommend this item. If you're interested, I will leave a link below where you can purchase yours. Thank you as always for watching and we will see you in the next video.